Hey friends, so BitLife released a business update. I am a former businessman and a BitLife expert, so I know exactly how to play this. Now the first part about a business is branding, so I've gone with Businessman Limited as my name. My mother is Crystal Limited, an insurance agent. That is such a missed opportunity. She should have started her own crystal business. A law has been passed in Spain outlawing the use of the word literally in instances which the speaker means figuratively. That is literally the worst idea I've ever heard. Wait, what the hell? My mother married Perry O'Reilly. She changed her name to Crystal O'Reilly. They've stolen my name. You know what? Limited is a much better surname anyway. In fact, it's actually a really good name because it's a limited name. Not many people would have it. So it's literally limited. You know, limited is literally limited. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think we're all right. What does this road sign mean? Tetris Road, I love video games. Wait, what? And my mother is now concerned about my eyesight. No, no, mother, I assure you, my eyesight is fine. I'm just stupid. Okay, uh, school is over. Yeah, let them go. I don't care about your friends. Oh, wait, maybe I did. <laughs> Businessmen limited, just limited on friends. Wait, what is this? I went into special careers and now they have street hustler? What? <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight into business. I'm going to start up my own business. Um, what's there a big demand? In. Adult toys that never goes out. Oh, I need 2.7 million. I understand. I can't just go well I run a business now. Give me money. Okay. Let me rephrase my request What is the cheapest business available a food truck at 268,000? How am I gonna make that much money? God damn it There goes my dream of owning an adult toy shop called get fecked today sucks, man I'm enlisting in the army in the hopes that I can just make money on the side and not have any responsibilities your feet are blistering and you're falling behind the rest of your platoon. Catch up. <laughs> Easier said than done, but just do it. Evil stepfather. Perry over here hid my sunglasses. That's not quite evil, but I'm just gonna straight up attack him. Uppercut him in the throat. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Ow! And ripped my foot and bit my throat. My god, my stepfather is feral. Alright, get Kenton Sack in there to defend me. I need to do business over here. I'm not guilty. I, <laughs> I am guilty. Alright, one year in prison. God damn it, he hid my sunglasses. Why is no one understanding that. Okay, so I guess that was one way out of the army. I've got a little bit of money, but nowhere near enough to what I need. Perhaps I could be an escort? No, <laughs> surprisingly not. What about a magician then? Yeah, I got a job as a magician. He's just fresh out of prison. I don't know if I should be around kids. I don't know, maybe I'm an adult magician. Oh, that gives more money. Pornography historian. That might be a good job for you. Yes, good job on that, that raise there. Now we just gotta make $200,000 studying history of pornography. All right, a junkie just offered me some crack cocaine. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at his job. He's not very happy. Just, just let him have this one thing. Maybe I should go to the casino so that I could double my... No, that never works. Play the lottery instead. I didn't win. I hate the lottery. I can't get any decent job because of my <laughs> history of assaulting people over hiding my sunglasses. All right, I'm a porta potty pumper. Given my history, like my CV is gonna just look so bad. <laughs> I went from pornography historian straight into porta potty pumper. I pet a raccoon and I died. <laughs> so that's how my businessman's life is going so far. Businessman worked as a porta potty pumper for many years. No, many minutes is the word you're looking for. Sadly, he is known for attacking his stepfather. <laughs> it just says his life was cut short by a raccoon. <laughs> okay, I found someone who might have a worse name than me. It's, you know, I'm just gonna move on. Oh great, Crystal married an O'Donnell this time. No Perry, that's where I went wrong. And you know what, instead of calling them by the first name, I'm gonna try and start off on the right foot. I'm just gonna call him Daddy O'Donnell. Okay, this time I'll apply to university instead of attacking my father. Go into finance, there's a lot of money in that. Ask mother to pay, she refused, I hate her. <laughs> Oh my god, the way that is phrased, it looks like the game is just insulting me. <laughs> oh, my car that my mother gifted me can't even be repaired because I don't have $52 to do it. I might need to get a job, <laughs> pay off those student loans while I'm at it. I got a question, are you a goal-orientated person? And my answers are horrible. It's either not really, I tend to fall short, I set goals but achieving them is challenging, or I'm not a fan of soccer. And I'm not a fan of soccer might actually be the best answer here. You know what, I'm going with it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Team Ed Edwards or Team Jacob, neither. Why are you- Okay, they gave me the job. It was a trick question. I appreciate that. 
All right, we just need to save up a bit of money and we can buy a business. You met a young lady named Dixie. Do you, you don't have a lot of money. Maybe that would be a good strategy. You are insane though, so maybe you would invest in my food truck idea. <laughs> Ask her on a date. But in the meantime, set up a dating app. We're looking for someone very old with a lot of money. <laughs> there we go. I'm not saying I'm a gold digger, but my actions do imply that. Yes, yes, I am a gold digger. Okay, I don't even have to kill her. I just have to marry her <laughs> and then I can use her money. Oh no, she's suffering from constipation. This could be the end. <laughs> we gotta get married now. <laughs> Okay, and with that disturbing noise, they've made love. Okay, the relationship is all full. She's constipated, confused. <laughs> now is the time to ask. Oh, but first I need to go buy a ring, something she'll appreciate. Look at that, emerald ring. Look at that, yes, buy that, she'll love it. Take her to the lighthouse. You can be like, God, oh, just like this lighthouse. You light up my life, also buy me a house. <laughs> She accepted, yes! Okay, now they just gotta get married. Plan the wedding quick before she dies. A vineyard, yeah, perfect. In, uh, yeah, Grand Canyon. Oh my God, that's so expensive. Can we have, you know what? I'll pay for it now, because I need your money for something else. Whew, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I can buy whatever business I want. Agreed to sign the prenup. It doesn't matter, I'm not getting divorced. I'm just, you know, using the money without her consent. No, keep my name, it's part of the brand. Okay, look at that money. Why have I not done this before? <laughs> All right, business, startup. Oh my God, I could get two businesses. What's the most expensive thing I could afford? Because the adult toys business isn't doing so well. If I got in when I wanted to, it would have been great, but I didn't. Oh, footwear is really in, and that's an expensive business I can afford. Let's do that. Start my business. It can be called Foot Fetish are us. Just to be like, you know, we really love feet. We really, really want to treat your feet well. <laughs> that's, that's our core message. You know, we care. All right, Foot Fetish Us has been registered as a business. What's my salary? Um, a lot. I deserve it. It's a good way of funneling money around in a circle so that I'm getting the wife's money. Okay, let's do a new product line. We're gonna do sneakers for sneaking, because I know crime. That's the one demographic I'm zoning in on. Oh, I like feral sneakers that it suggested to me. What else have I got? New York. Let's come back to feral. Consumer's choice. King sneakers. I think I'm gonna call them shits. Just so, like, oh, you see those new shits out? recently oh you got a pair of shits on nice i think it could i think it could work with the youth <laughs> i just realized now the full sentence is gonna be like hey you get any shits from foot fetish or us i'm gonna make thirty thousand pairs because i think we can sell them and just keep in mind that's sixty thousand shoes and look i have weird business graphs in my banner you know that i know what i'm doing because of that ignore this performance bear that's a zero percent <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> oh no, we lost a lot of money. <laughs> it was a challenging year for the business. Look, businesses lose money in their first year all the time. It'd be weird if I didn't. If anything, it would be a bad sign if I made money. Your business foot fetish Aros, has gone bankrupt and been liquidated by the authorities. I'm gonna blame everyone else. <laughs> There's no one else working for me. Oh, and she wants to buy a house now. Since when are you in control of your own money, huh? Look for other houses in the meantime. Okay, I still have enough to start a different business. All right, I just blew most of her money, but I will make back the rest by going back to the original plan of opening a food truck and I'm gonna invest a good 700,000 in it of her money. What'll I name it? Uh, Mother Truckers. <laughs> All right, as usual, I get a lot more money than I should. We're gonna serve five layer burritos, even though I have no idea about food, and uh, we're gonna do a little market research. Okay, demand isn't huge. Let's just go back there a little bit. Chicken parmesan, everyone wants that. Okay, that's a little bit better. Launch the product. This is gonna make us millionaires. And of course, this recipe comes from his stepfather, specifically the sauce, so I want to give him credit in this, and I'll call it Daddy's Special Sauce. Uh, introduce product, and let's see how it goes. All right, first year, let's see. Oh, my wife passed away. Rats. <laughs> At least it can't be me. Like, she was killed in a tornado, so I won't be blamed, um, but I'm... I'm not going to the funeral, just so we're all in the, in, in the, no. And I inherited $2.7 million. Once again, my business mind continues to amaze me. We made a 2% profit on daddy's special sauce. Great stuff. Business is going well. We're going to keep the existing plan for another year. Bill Gulch over here sent me an email telling the entire company what a fantastic boss you are. Given that it's a food truck, that is probably just me and him. <laughs> you could have just told me in person, Bill. But I'll give you a bonus because you're being nice to me. Granted, it's a dollars, so it's almost insulting, but that's what you get. <laughs> he really appreciated it, though. Okay, this year we lost um, <clears throat> 19,000. That's a 484% loss. God 
damn it. Okay, we gotta reinvent ourselves. We just had to get rid of 2,990 servings of daddy's special sauce. You just discovered that your friend Joey, he stayed at your house last night, used your sex toy. What? Why would you do that, Joey? Like, take all the daddy special sauce you want, but not that. That's disgusting. I want to confront him just to ask him to buy him a new one. Okay, how can I save mother truckers? Because this business is everything to me. Adjust your fixed cost by changing your supplier. Okay, this is all very confusing. One second, let me just take a bonus of 50,000 there. <laughs> just a click of a button and it's just mine. Ah, so I do have another employee. So Bill over here is telling Betsy, who hates this place, how great I am. I'm going to recognize her, whatever that means. Do you, do you want to give him some recognition? Yeah, there you go. Wow, what a boss. I can see why I'm getting 50,000 bonuses. <laughs> What? I got a valuation of my company and they valued it at $562,000. But it says available capital $987,000. So just the burden of having my business, I'd have to pay them so that they would buy it off me. Damn it, nobody wants to buy my company of mother truckers at $731,000. Damn it. Okay, maybe it was just a bad year for daddy's special sauce. Maybe we can go again. Or, or maybe we could change supplier. The quality would go up and the price would go down. Oh my god, I'm so good at business. Sign a contract. Yes, now we're back in the plus. God, I know what I'm doing, don't I, when it really comes down to it. Oh my god, your product, Daddy's Special Sauce, is about to go viral after it sparked an intense debate on social media. Plan accordingly. Oh my god, and a production plan. Screw 35,000 servings. 105,000 servings now. Yes, I am not sure, but yes. While on your lunch break, you overhear your employee, Lillian Munn, Rose sobbing into her phone, complaining about her negative bank balance. That is so sad. To see a worker just abandon their work. Get back to work. Juan has made you his enemy after that. Somehow he was aware this was happening. He's like, you know what? I'm not your friend anymore, Businessman Limited. All right, age up, because we are about to get a huge payday. Oh my god, look at that. It actually works. Just making the maximum amount possible was the key to success. Sure, I had to write off like 5,000 servings, but you know, it was still a good call overall. 4% of servings went, you know what? I don't care. I don't care about food wastage. I care about money. <laughs> That's all I care about. To improve morale, some of your employees have asked you to take the team to a formal party. Just three of us, it's gonna be really weird, but yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I think it might be a good idea to have some stuff going on in the background. Like he should marry another really old rich person. That, that would be good, he loves that. <laughs> Here we go, 90 years old. What a strong age. Quickly, buy a ring quickly. <laughs> quickly, we don't have much time. This sapphire ring should do it. I'm spending like 10 grand on the ring. It's an investment, really, you know? Businessman. Uh-oh. <laughs> Speaking of businessman, you know, we still made a decent amount of money, I think, looking at that. It's just down a little bit. We'll probably have to throw away a bit more this year. <laughs> yeah, 13,000 servings. Okay, yeah, I probably should have edited it just a little bit. Wait, Betsy over here is saying it'll be a miracle if I don't run this company into the ground. Listen. Listen, you mother trucker. You're getting a warning right here and now. While hanging out with a group of friends, your enemy, Juan's wife. My enemy, like he's just declared himself my enemy. What if I just said to you, I'm your enemy now? You don't get a choice. <laughs> like, I didn't have any say in the matter. I don't even know who Juan is. Well, anyway, gonna hook up with his wife, see what happens. Don't use protection. That'll show him, my enemy. Oh, I forgot about poor Molly. She's 91 over here. Her heart couldn't take it. Mm, maybe I should do it more. <laughs> no, wait, married first, married first, then break her heart. <laughs> She rejected it. Well, that is upsetting. Okay, uh, the business is plummeting. Maybe I shouldn't have taken exponential growth as my strategy. Like, doing nothing, but just expecting everything to get better and better. Oh my god, 32% of servings went unsold. Did I at least make a profit? I did. Ah, daddy's special sauce has never let me down. Bill Gulch has been receiving feedback with an open mind. Yeah, and he, he compliments me. Give him another bonus. You know what, this time, Bill, you deserve much better. I'm doubling it. Oh, hold on, I can't seem to... Oh, wait, it's... It's jumping the gun. It's going right up to like 60. Oh, 100? No, it's too much. You know what? One again. You, I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Yeah, look at that. He loves it. <laughs> Aha! She accepted the marriage proposal. Excellent. Another investment is paying off. Honestly, he's a much better gold digger than he is a businessman. You want to preen up? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to outlive you. Don't worry. Ew, I have stepchildren and they're like all older than me. Okay, now that I've got like my corner of the business, could I just change it so my, my suppliers are super cheap and Instead. 
No, I can't find anyone who will produce it even cheaper. Okay, I want another valuation. What, 923,000? I feel like that's low for the work we've put in here. Like, does my 4% performance mean nothing to you? What if I open a new truck? In fact, I should open loads of them. Like, we're called Mother Truckers, not Mother Truck. Now I have five trucks. Here we go. Annual payroll is now quarter of a million dollars. That's just fine. Don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Oh, God. Okay, I'm just going to put nearly all of my money into production here. Please work. Please work. Please work. I'm putting a lot of risk on this, this one business move. But you know what? It's all about risks with Businessman Limited. And sometimes they don't pay off. Oh, sweet Jesus. Available capital minus 10,000. No, no. Blame everyone else. It's not my fault. You suspect your wife of cheating on you. I can't afford to divorce her, so just think nothing of it. I gotta start a new business quick before she gets rid of me. Do I have anything to sell so I can open, like, a better business? Like, maybe I could sell her home or something like that? Estimated value 1.9 million. Oh, just don't even ask her. Just try and sell it. I got offered 1.8 million. Take the offer. That's enough to open up a little brewery. She's arguing. Just argue back. Shut up, I said. Shut up. I got an idea for another brilliant business. Oh, I'm gonna open up a marijuana dispensary. Imagine her seeing that I took all of her money, sold her home, and started a business called 420 Blaze It. Lol. Pick your product name. It gave me the McBlunt, and I'm kind of happy with that. I'm just gonna introduce it. All right, let's see. Does it make money? It made a little bit of money. I got $7,000 off a very risky move. Analysts forecast that you could sell six 68% more units at the current price. Well then, I'm going to double, triple our output. Your wife Molly wants a divorce. She's afraid you won't be able to keep your hand out of other girls' cookie jars. No, you're afraid that I'm going to open more businesses. I'm so tempted to attack you, but I'm just going to beg her to stay. <laughs> She decided to stay. Okay, good. I'm just not sure what'll happen to the money, and I need the money. Okay, now we're talking. <laughs> My moves were the correct moves, surprisingly. The McBlunt is a smash hit. I could sell 38% more units? Yeah, well, you're always underneath what, what is reality, so I'm putting way more into it. <laughs> I just take a random guess. I may as well be throwing darts at a dartboard with figures on it. Jim Bob Gomez is reading at work? Feck off. You're fired. We're not a laid-back business. Oh, no, I'm getting sued. Oh, shit. I didn't consider there might be consequences for my actions. Fight the lawsuit. I'm not giving him 39,000. We're gonna get Bugger and O'Donnell, my, my dad maybe, <laughs> in to defend me. Oh, I lost. And uh, now I have to pay his legal fees as well as my own. Okay. And Juan wants me to take Adderall with him. No way. I just want to see how my business did. God damn it. Look at that. I just keep making more green and it makes me more green. 10% <laughs> more units. Just feckin' all of them. Just make them all. <laughs> I finally found my business. How do I, like, pump more money into this? Because this is going way too good. Open a new dispensary. Yeah. Another 50k per year. That's fine. Oh my god, they just valued my company at 3.7 million. I'm gonna take this to the moon. When I get it to 10 million, then, and only then, am I going to sell. Oh, that's not a good... I don't like seeing that minus 45%. Wait, you could sell 50% more units? What the hell? Who are these analysts? Are people money laundering with my business and I'm just not aware of this? They want to go to an indoor trampoline park for $270. Available capital. No, look, it's just too much. I want you to have fun, but that is too much money to spend. I'm refusing. Oh, Molly wants to divorce. Oh no, what'll I do? I'm independent from you now, Molly. Get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh no, I need to settle. She'll walk away with 1.4 million in assets? I lost the stepchildren, at least. Oh my god, I've lost so much money. <laughs> I mean, we made a ton of money, at least. Maybe I could just bonus my way out of this. And we sold feckin' everything. I might actually need another dispensary. Wait, someone put my mug suspended in cherry jello sitting on my desk. Reprimand the culprit. Oh, I thought that said attack, and I thought I attacked them. And I got 25 years. I'm just so used to being locked up. Okay, I need a bonus of... Okay, I need a higher bonus than that. That's not gonna cut it. Where's my salary. I need a salary. Very oh, come on, man. I really need more money than that. She took everything from me. She took the kids, god damn it. And yeah, I was quite happy about that, but she took everything is what I'm saying. I'm gonna start paying above average as well, because I'm a really good boss. <laughs> no, I just want everything to stay afloat, okay? The police are cracking down on illegal marijuana, so that should be good for me. They'll have to buy it from me now instead. I'm opening two new dispensaries, and I'm going to put up production as 
as high as we can because the no McBlunt is just doing amazing. I'm amazed we haven't been sued as well though. <laughs> All right, make as many as you can and let's have a fantastic year and sell this dumpster fire of a company before it goes belly up. Oh wait, hold on. No, this, this is working. This is going great. Oh no, it's going to drop by 22% because I have a big competitor. Oh no, wait, that's next year's competition is going to decrease. Oh my God. <laughs> we are just flying, aren't we? And a doctor has offered me 6.5 million to buy my business. Blaze it. Lol. I mean, I'm really tempted. I know I said 10 million, but that's a lot of zeros on the end there. Like four. That's crazy. You know what? Take the offer and we can do what he really wants to do. We're in the adult toys industry. Go feck yourself is the name. <laughs> All right. We're going to make a uh, cherry flavored edible underwear. No other flavors. We're just making this one. Why did the name automatically go to Papa's edible underwear? It's like there's some AI trying to figure me out from the previous products. You know what? Yes. Introduce it. Okay. We lost money. That's all right. I'm an experienced businessman. I know what I'm doing. We're going to up the units to the maximum and we'll just up the price. And then when we make more money, we'll make more edible underwear. Your enemy won. Secretly replace the salt in your salt shaker. How is he getting in here? Just feckin' attack him. I've had enough of him. Flick his hand. There we go. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, God. Papa's edible underwear is gonna destroy me. <laughs> okay, I went bankrupt. For some reason, in the industry where I could have had stock upon stock upon stock, I went with the only product that would expire. <laughs> oh... You know what? If I'm going out in failure, one has to as well. I still have money, but I'm just not standing for it. I'm not sitting around letting him watch me fail. Look for a hitman. He used a bazooka. Excellent. That's one less thing I have to worry about. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do anything about the, the job. Oh, wait, they want me as a CEO? Excellent. They're going to give me $2 million a year. That's more than I ever made with my own businesses. I had one successful business that all I did was say, make more every year and it worked. And they're like, yes, we got the best CEO out there. All right, wh what's, what's the job here? What do I have to do? Oh, I have to control their business. Excellent. You have picked the right man for the job. Okay, first thing, make more. Oh, wait, you can't afford it. Okay, make this many. Now, that should have fixed everything. I, oh, oh my god, I just lost 106 million in one move. They fired me immediately <laughs> and sold the board. I just made $2 million and became a famous CEO for all the wrong reasons. I think I should write a book. Can I write a book? Oh, I was going to call it Falling Upwards. A commercial? Yeah, take the money. It's pocket change, but it's fine. <laughs> my fame is going up from being in commercials. I'm credited as a business tycoon. <laughs> I I have stumbled into this. You want to make a big change by drastically altering the way you look. Shave off my eyebrows. Oh no, my mother has hemorrhoids and my fame is dropping. Can someone let me write a book or something? Just anything? Just pity fame. Anything at all. Maybe I could capitalize on this by opening a business and using the fame to carry it. Okay, I'm opening a coffee house. Cafe, I'm famous. Get in here. Uh, <laughs> I'm missing a few spaces there, but that's okay. We're going to make Americanos that are called just buy it for feck's sake, you know, right to the point. Our customers love that, I assume. Look at this, making money hand over fist. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's all about exponential growth, all right? I thought that was a mistake before, but now I actually see it's the way forward. Wait, I got an offer to promote buttons on my YouTube account. Yeah, I didn't even know I had one, just accept it. Oh no, my business is not going well. <laughs> it's not going well at all. It says the market is in a downward spiral. I'm gonna promote orange juice on my YouTube account. <laughs> just every dollar counts in this tough economy, you know? Oh my God, a movie director wants to buy it because uh, it's it's a famous thing, you know? He's like, oh, I'm famous. Yeah, I'm famous. I'll, I'll buy that. Okay, take it fast and run with the money. You know, I think I actually stumbled on the best business this opportunity right at the beginning. Okay, come on. Come on. I need a 10. Okay, I'll stand. <laughs> I lost everything. Uh, and now I'm depressed. I've lost all of my money. Why does it all just go like this? Any uh, famous business need a, a famous CEO out there or anything? Speak of the devil. I didn't even read it, but accept it. What's my salary? 1.1 million? Ah, uh, yes, I deserve it. Okay, make more. <laughs> it's 50-50 if this is gonna work. They're gonna think I'm a genius if I pull it off. Why let a funeral? A porn star calls you a no good thug. What kind of life is he leading when we're not controlling him? Ow! I called her a tramp and then she popped my larynx. Call the police. Yeah, that's right. Finally, I'm not the one getting thrown in jail. Your mother passed away? Amazed she was still living. Skip the funeral. How did my business do? Oh, she, I actually inherited money. Maybe I should have gone. <gasps> 
profit up 518%. You know what my answer to that is? More. <laughs> Make more cars. Oh my god, it's going up even more. I'm actually doing this. We need a, a mascot. Um, Stork the Stork. Yeah, that works. I'm suffering from high blood pressure. <laughs> Ignore it. Make money. Uh-oh. Um, no, I said make money. That wasn't sarcasm. I got fired, but I've done so much for this company. <laughs> Insult the board and walk away. Oh my god, look how famous I am. Defecation issues. I, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Look how famous I am. Write a book. Write a book. Yes. Businessman's time. Averagely endowed. Being businessman limited. I think averagely endowed. That'll be an interesting book title. I did not really make much off that, but that's okay, because I'm going on TV now. No one wants to talk to me. I'm being a photo... No one wants to take photos of me. I'm going to go be in a commercial. No one wants to. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I did a how-to video, and I earned 1,700 subscribers. Maybe this will actually work out. His blood pressure is going down and everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Another CEO opportunity. Just gonna take it and just do absolutely nothing. I'm not even gonna respond to what they want. I'm just like, yeah, keep everything the way it is. That's fine. Oh no, they took him to a horse race. Put two million on Super Lunar. <laughs> oh no, this is a terrible idea. Come on, Red. Oh my god, it might actually win. It won. <laughs> money on a horse. This playthrough is completely blurst. I just want 10 million off that. Why a happy noise? Oh, because of the money, not because of Brendan O'Donnell passing away. I'm gonna make a new book called Businessman Limited, a legend. <laughs> Yeah, it didn't sell well. Not surprised, given it's an autobiography. I'm getting all these medical things, and I'm just not doing anything about it, because that seems to be the best way to run this guy's life. Just kind of go with the flow. Your friend Dick Handy passed away. I haven't spoken to him since we were, like, seven. And all I did was kind of laugh at his name, and that was it. They finally fired me. <laughs> it took them long enough. I was doing absolutely nothing, just sitting there in my office, being old and famous. And I died. He had way too good of a life, considering what he did. Lovers 5, Murders 1, Career, CEO of Foot Fetish Aros. Did you have to put that one on the tombstone? What about the normal ones? But I'm also going to retire, so check out some more of my content here. I hope you'll enjoy that, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.